Cardiobites. What is the clinical workup for diagnosing heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, or HFPEF? As practicing clinicians, we often see patients who present with symptoms that may or may not be heart failure with preserved ejection fraction. Among these are peripheral or pedal edema and dyspnea or shortness of breath. The first step in an accurate diagnosis of an individual with suspected HFPEF includes a complete history, physical exam, and evaluation of their presentation. This includes determining if their signs and symptoms are not cardiac in origin. Practitioners should then apply the universal definition of HFPEF, which is the symptoms and or the signs of heart failure with ejection fraction of 50% or higher on echocardiogram that are caused by structural or functional cardiac abnormalities and elevated natriuretic peptides or objective evidence of cardiogenic pulmonary or systemic congestion. Additional criteria for a diagnosis of HFPEF includes consideration of the individual's natriuretic peptide levels. In HFPEF, the criteria for elevated natriuretic peptide differs on whether the individual is ambulatory or hospitalized. Practitioners should then exclude other cardiac conditions that meet the definition of cardiac congestion with preserved ejection fraction that require disease-specific therapy. These are called cardiac mimics. A clinical scoring system may also be useful in the diagnostic evaluation of a patient suspected of having HFPEF. Examples of scoring systems are the H2FPEF score and the HFA-PF algorithm. Using a stepwise approach to assess an individual with suspected HFPEF includes a complete history, physical exam, and evaluation of their presentation. Determining if their signs and symptoms, such as shortness of breath and or edema, are non-cardiac in origin. Applying the universal definition of HFPEF, ruling out cardiac mimics, and considering the use of HFPEF scores to clarify the clinical picture. In summary, it is important to recognize that not every patient with shortness of breath or edema has HFPEF. Accurate early evaluation and diagnosis of HFPEF will facilitate optimal treatment and intervention that will lead to better patient outcomes. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of CardioBytes, brought to you by the Heart Failure Society of America. Support for this program was provided by an independent grant from Novo Nordisk. Novo Nordisk did not review this content. I'm Amin Yahya, an advanced heart failure and transplant cardiologist at Centera Healthcare in Norfolk, Virginia, and an associate professor of medicine at Eastern Virginia Medical School. Please complete this short survey to help us identify more programs that may be of interest to you.